Okay, my name is Richard Siri. I've been collecting bottles for a little over 40 years. Uh, I also have collected Indian uh, craft uh, for the same period of time or even longer. Uh, when I started gathering uh, the covered bottles, uh, it kind of drew in both, both of my hobbies. Um, I tried to collect forms all different forms and all different tribes that that made a covered bottle. These this series of bottles here are the Chinese Encopes or Chinese rice wines. Uh, they were made covered by several different tribes: Macaw, Chehalis, Clinket, the Shimon, Paiute. These are Clinket. Um, so I tried to get a representative one from each tribe that made them. Uh, knowing bottles like I do, I have an, a good idea of what's inside every basket. That's another thing that, that um, keeps me going. Like for instance, uh, this bottle here is, is a Paiute weaving. Um, but it's over a Yerba Buena Bitters bottle. And because I know bottles, I know that most people that collect the Indian artifacts or basketry really don't know what's in the bottles. For instance, this is an IXL Bitters. Inside that bottle, it has a clinket weaving on it. This bottle here, I just got uh, it, it's made by the Northern California tribe. It has open work in here. And through this open work, I could determine that it was a JF Cutter whiskey. Uh, it happens to be that Cutter whiskeys are another one of my uh, collecting fields. So that was a natural. Uh, bottles that are pictorial bottles, like this one here. This one here is, uh, that's a Klamath, Northern California uh, in South Middle Oregon. This bottle is done by the Pitt River tribe in Northern California. The weaver actually s signed it, Marzi, and it's dated and it's pictorial. That's, that's the real tough combination. Um, You'll notice that these three whiskeys here are all the same shape. I've found that certain tribes like a particular shape to cover. Pitt River likes Crown Distillery whiskeys. That's what these bottles are, is all Crown Distillery whiskeys. Um, this is a picnic beer bottle. This is a Chehalis. This is an Oregon bottle. It's a, it's a picnic beer. I can't tell you what if it's embossed or not, but I know what it is. Uh, this bottle here is a display bottle. It's actually embossed. You can read the embossing in it. It's probably, you know, 1920s, but it's a glass display bottle. This is a, a Galliano bottle. This is done in uh, Northern California, on the coast of Northern California. This bottle is, you know, it's a cream de mint. It's a Washu tribe, Nevada, uh, Washu weaving. Uh, all these bottles, all these covered bottles basically are from Alaska down the coastal region to Northern California, across the top of Northern California to the Eastern Sierras, and down the Eastern Sierras down Carson City, Walker Lake, down in that area. With the exception of this bottle. This is a milk bottle. It's covered by a tribe in Maine, Penobscot. This is, other than the western bottles, this is the only other tribe in the, in the United States that I've found that covers bottles. None of the southwestern tribes do. None of the southern California tribes do. Um, so, and, and like this bottle here is, is a Alaskan Clinket. It's a uh, Ayers Hervigor. 
I knew what it was when I, because I've dug tons of these things. So as soon as I see the shape and look at the top, I know what it is because I know the bottles. This particular bottle here I bought on the internet and I asked the lady that had the bottle on the internet if she would send me an image with the top off. Promo seltzer, you know? I mean as soon as you see as soon as you see the top, if you're a bottle collector, you know it's a bromo. This is also a Pitt River uh, tribe. Um, this is these of course this was a a real easy one to figure out. Um, Crown Perfumery, 